Hey guys, welcome back to a new series here on my channel. This is a map that I'm going to be playing made by a famous YouTuber. His name is Vex. And let's read the rules. Welcome to Super Hostile Number Super Hostile Number 12 Infernal Mines by Vex. Choose your path. Let's see. All right. There it goes. This map features three different starting areas that eventually lead to the same place, Skylight A, B, and C. If your friend or an LP or chooses one, try to pick a different path so that you each have unique experiences. Each Skylight has a level 1 Flamebringer for you to use as a starting weapon and also a bed. The Flamebringer is good for leaving behind flames... Leaving... It's good for leaving flames behind you as you retreat from enemies, but you also may want to get a sword as soon as possible. Skylight A leads to a huge stockpile of lumber. Skylight B leads to mushroom farm and a tiny amount of wood. Skylight C leads to many barracks with many random loot chests. Good luck, Vex. So that's that. Other notes. Sequence break. Sequence breaking in a video game is when the player accesses areas in order that it is different than what the game designer intends. Infernal Mine has any vistas. Uh, yeah. uh, so basically, don't bridge across areas that aren't intended to be gone to. System specs. Uh, I'll figure something out if we're not fine. Super hostile standard rules. Find and complete the victory monument. So this is a CTM map. Somewhere on the map there's a victory monument that we have to fill in to complete the map. Use at least easy, never peaceful. We're good. This map is designed to try and kill you in any way possible. Cannot leave the map boundaries, so can't go up there and jump and see all the fun stuff. Find wool and chests. Do not use sheep, dye, slash spider silk. So we the only way we're going to get wool to complete the victory monument, because that's what we need to collect is wool, is to get it in chests. So, all right. survive in any way you could think of. We are allowed to break blocks. This is like a survival game. You may craft the metal blocks for the victory monument. So we need to find nine diamonds, nine iron, nine gold in order to make the blocks for the victory monument. You may use spider string for wool. You may use spider string wool for non-victory monument uses. Beds. You may not pick up mover craft ender chest. Alright, that's good to know. So, since we're allowed to break blocks, I think I'm going to take this glowstone. Since I have a feeling we're not going to have much at the start. And, uh, skylights. Um, I'm thinking we're going to pick skylight B. Because it has food and, uh, and wood, apparently. So, I think I'm going to go with that. It's like the best of both worlds, I would say. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this glowstone just in case we need it. Because there is monsters all over this map, so... We might want to light up some areas. There we go. Achievement get taking inventory. Okay, so... Oh, this is a death counter. Let's enable the death counter. Now keeping track of player deaths. Alright. Skylight A. Wood. There, wood. Alright. Skylight B. Food. Skylight C. Equipment. We're going to need food though. Without food. Food is necessary. So. Definitely. We got a bed here. It's not night time. So I'm going to take this with me. I think. Alright, that's a little weird. Uh, like I said, this map is very CPU intensive, so... Oh, oh god. Right, so I'm assuming we have to get up on that balcony there. I can use glowstone. Yeah, I'd rather lose one glowstone than lose all of it, so... There's no problem. Oh, there's a thing there. Is there anything up top here? Oh, there's one there, too. Oh, what's that? There's a chest up here. Oh, Flamebringer. It's that weapon that he was telling us about. Whoa. Let me, uh, yeah.
There, that's better. I use control to sneak. Nice. Oh, it's a flint and steel. I'm breaking enchantment level 100. Okay, so this thing isn't breaking any time in our lifetime. And knockback 1. So basically, it's just a flint and steel that I could use to hit monsters back. Let's see. Let's, uh... Iffy. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. No, besides darkness, I don't think there's anything up there. Um, we got some more parkour, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'll do this. Oh god, that scared me. Even though it was only a two-block jump. So, oh, oh, that's the flame bringer. I thought we missed the chest already. All right, so. Uh, I guess this is all the supplies we're going to have. Here we go. 14 glowstone to start us off. Oh, oh god. I thought that was lava underneath us. I was going to say, how does he expect us to do this? Alright, so... Nothing except an empty room. Shouldn't sprint. My, yeah, my food's going down already. Okay. I turned the lava flow off with Optifine because this map is very CPU intensive and it seems like there's a lot of lava, so. I'm not going to lay anything up yet because it doesn't seem like we're going to have to come back here for anything. So. Is there an intersection here? Skylight B, Amanita Cavern, and Gravel. I'm just, is that maybe like an arrow? Let me just see real quick. If I'm right, then this is going to be amazing. Because there is Easter eggs in this map, so. Nope. This doesn't. That looks like an arrow, doesn't it? Kind of, I guess. Right, let's just go see if we have any chests anywhere. No, we don't. Oh, this is where he's talking about the sequence, sequence breaking. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. So that's that must be an, another area of the map. Oh my god, that's a big area. Right. So that's what he was talking about. Nothing in there. So that wasn't too hard. We are on normal. Yep, definitely on normal. No monsters yet, so... I still have a feeling there's something on that wall. If we get a pick, oh, I almost fell. If we get a pickaxe, I'm gonna come back and see if I can mine through that wall. Oh well, that's a shame. Mushrooms. It's cool. If we once we get wood, we'll, we'll be able to make some bowls and make some mushroom soup. Not here. I'm looking around for like Easter eggs. All oh, floating gravel. This has to be something. Like okay. Hopefully this lag is gonna get better. Hopefully. I am playing it. Oh, skeletons. Oh, creeper. Alright, let's, uh... Doesn't look like there's any chests here. A piece of glowstone. Oh, okay, there's glowstone everywhere. Mushrooms? I thought we were going to the one with the wood. Wait, was it mushrooms and wood? Yeah, okay. So, lots of gravel. So, oh, okay. Let's see about where we've gone. Oh, there's something up there. There's also a creeper. Right. Mushrooms. Wow, already. What's that? There's like minecarts over there. Oh my god! I think I just had a freaking heart attack. Get out of here! 
run. Oh my god, we got freaking zombies on cocaine. Getting the harm, getting here. I don't know what this is, but. Phone ringing, be right back. Sorry about that, guys. My house phone started ringing, so. Oh. Dorm. Something. Dormitory? Put a piece of glowstone. Okay, food. And armor. Wow, look at all this stuff. Got a bow? A golden apple? Really? Okay, so. First comes the first. Uh, blocks. Wow, okay. It's pretty generous. We are in Skylight B, I think, so... Let's heal up real quick. If we can. I'm not eating all them cookies. Alright, I guess we'll leave a couple. Oh, they heal one? I thought they healed a half. More stuff, wow. Soup, boots. Let's dump up some stuff. We'll come back for these books. Ladders, I could use them. Get this bow on our bar. That's our light source, though, so. Alright, we don't need cookies. Um, an axe, that's cool. Pork chop, mm. An ender pearl. That could get us out of a sticky situation. When, uh, crazy zombies on cocaine come, come at us. Alright. Oh, I thought I would have killed them with that last hit. Alright, what does this say now? Farm dormitory, or dormitory, or something, I don't know. I am dyslexic, so I have trouble reading, in case you couldn't realize. Let's see. There's wood there. But we don't really need wood now that we got all this stuff. Let's go check out what this, uh, this thing is. There's no sign of any wolves, so... And there's a lot of wolves in this map, so... Oh. Okay, let's not explore this yet. Oh god, that zombie looked awfully fast. Oh, that's TNT. That's a bunch of minecarts. Take these bowls, though. Food to go, refined. Not really. Take the TNT, though. Open. Right. Definitely some weird stuff going on here. I think some redstone torches to light them off too. So, right. no. food. How is that in any way food? There's bowls. That's it. Mobile mobile food system. I don't know. We got. Them guys here though, so we can just automatically fill up the bowls. Psh, hey Rosie, over Mia. Since you had trouble finding it the first time. Oh, I, I'm sure he's ref referencing another YouTuber there. I would think. So. Oh, this is sand. Oh, I wonder if there's any like falling traps. No. I don't think there would be anything like that this early. Ooh, skeleton. Skeletons. Alright. Let's get away from her. Alright, let's just keep pressing on. We're not going to explore that yet, but... That little, uh, broken thing over there. We'll just press on through here. Stop sprinting. Yamanita yeah, Cattern. Upper mines. Whoa. Um, I think I like Amanita Cavern more. I 
think that creeper sees us. All right, guys, I'm only here to visit. Just passing through, minding my own business. I see skeletons and creepers. I'll just cross over to the other side of the road. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, these guys are going to... There's lag. They're going to jump at me. I know it. Are they? No, they're just small. Why, were, why are they walking so slow? Oh, potato. Don't you dare blow that up. I thought maybe they were the super fast zombies that were on cocaine. You... Oh, okay, the potato survived. Alright. No. Alright, so we haven't died yet, thankfully. Surprisingly. So, where are we going? I'm assuming we need to follow the path. I would think. Hmm. What? Cake? Um, I'm tempted to go over to the cake, but then again, I'm sure it's probably a trap. The cake is definitely a lie. Alright, so we have a path going down. Path going up. What I think that might be is one of them leads to Skylight A and one of them leads to Skylight C. Because he has said that they both meet up eventually. Oh, there's so Sorry about that. That's one of the bad things about recording during the day. Like I was saying, there's something down there I could see already. I don't know what that is, but... Um, cake? Oh, there's something here. All dormitories abandoned due to rogue lava and spiders. Oh, I am not in the mood for that. In tribute to those brave beta testers who faced this area when it was hellish difficulty. Rosie Zisto Amlop. Zisto! Oh, I love Zisto. Alright. Alright. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Okay. Spider hole. Get out of here. Just passing by. Spider spawner. Already. Light it up. Do I have a pickaxe? No. Whoa, what? Look at all this stuff. Oh, I need to make a pickaxe. Never mind, I can't make a pickaxe, so we're just gonna light it up. We're using up a lot of our glowstone, but... What are you gonna do? Is there a spider spawner in here? No. Is it night? No. So if we die, we're going all the way back. Is that quartz? Quartz? Definitely quartz. Let's go see what this is about. Whoa! Oh, I seen that. Easter eggs for days. Alright, so. We're going fancy here. Using some blocks of quartz for uh, building blocks. And an iron sword. Wow. I was kind of scared this map was going to be too hard for me, but... Smite? Five? Really? I'm going to take some more blocks of quartz. Alright, that works. I knew that had to be something. Why else would there just be random quartz up there? Still hear spiders. 
They're, they sound really close. Okay. Yeah, this is what I want. They're big spiders, though, so... Why are they f on fire? Oh, they drop stuff. Oh my god, no, 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 you're a bad guy. Get out of here. No one likes you. I knew it. I knew it. I shouldn't have came in this room. God, move. Alright, we didn't die. We're on half a heart, but we didn't die. It needs to be nighttime soon. Alright, what's better? Plus 7.75 attack. So a wooden sword's better than a plain iron sword, I guess. I wonder if there's gonna be a wall in here. Is this where I get attacked? No. <gasps> That made me jump. I'm gonna die. Alright, so let's let's heal back up real quick. I'll be right back. Alright guys, uh we're good, but I just realized um we don't have a pickaxe. Um Hello? Am I playing multiplayer here or something? Alright, I hear a lot more spiders now than when I came in, so... Oh, these are the fun oh they drop stuff. I need inventory space. come back for this Just not right yet I saw you what did they drop flame venom fire protection too that's cool chipped flame venom cool the wooden sword is still better it's kind of weird but do I have any form of light? No. Where's my blocks? Are you kidding me? He shot through the lava and caught me on fire. Can he see me through the lava? Yeah, he definitely can. What a guy. Done. There's no spawners in this room. Oh man, more armor. Okay. That's better than chain. Get some pants. Night vision. That could be useful. More cookies. Cool. Another ender pearl. Everything else I'll just leave in here for now. Oh, better bow. Okay. Wait, I forgot I had a bow. Don't even think about it. Get in the lava. Alright. Oh, there's bad stuff in here. See you. Stupid lag. 
I'm gonna have to sort this out after this episode. There we go. Yep, getting lag. Hello? There we go. Call. Nice. Another cooked pork chop. That's pretty useful. A helmet. Okay. Five. An axe. I don't think we need that right now because we're kind of hurting for inventory space. I am so stupid. Oh my god. Well, guys, since we're finally in a safe spot, the door is closed and everything. I am going to uh, end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, okay, never mind. I'm not going to end the episode here. Give me a minute. Can't open that now. Wood, wood, anywhere. Wood, wood, nice. We're gonna light up this room real quick so that I know that I'm safe. This will make 16 torches, yes. How am I going to get out of here safely? Right. Let's just light this up because I think they're spawning through the wall. Because there must be a spawner somewhere. And I have night vision on so of course I can't see how dark it is in here. Right, night vision wasn't seeming like a very good idea anymore. Alright guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, um, leave a like if you uh, enjoyed and subscribe for daily videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we can finish uh, taking on these uh, old dormitories.